What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Bitcoin daily video. Today we are going over this big move that we caught here on Friday and over the weekend. Remember on Friday's video we told you guys about these breakout entries right here which was a bounce on the bottom of this ascending support and it ran all the way up just as we spoke about and we're also talking about uh, the same type of bounce that we saw on Ethereum. And then we're also going over, um, you know, different things that we're looking for this week and different trade setups that we're looking for this week to make some profits this week. So stay tuned, guys. Let's jump right in. Alrighty, guys, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I hope you guys caught some of these profits that we made over the weekend. Let's jump right into that. So this is these are the trades that we spoke about this week on Friday's video. Bitcoin, we told you guys uh, we were buying above $18,200. And not only did it hit that, but it ran all the way up to 19400 guys. So that was a 66 percent profit if you use 10x leverage on this trade um, on ethereum we also caught the breakout above 550 as we mentioned to you guys ran up all the way to 595 for a 40 percent uh profit if you guys use 5x on these that's what we use on on uh on altcoins um bitcoin cash it, it we caught it at 270 ran up to 282 for 22 percent profit on a 5x leverage and Litecoin from 80 to 84 plus 25 percent profit on 5x leverage so remember guys if you guys want to use uh and trade bitcoin with leverage you can uh go down below hit our um where it says buy bit and you guys could just use that link to sign up and uh and that is where we trade with leverage all right guys so let's jump into what we're watching for this week right so you guys see here we're looking at the daily right now you guys see it's been bouncing around so it uh we had this first initial drop right here bounce back up then kind of uh it's been getting rejected at the top every single time right and then we had this drop over the weekend uh over last week and, and the weekend um well over the last week but then the weekend we popped right back up which was at the bottom of this range right here. So um, so this is what we're currently watching right here. You see it was kind of a breakout right here from this from this kind of a bull flag pattern that we had. Uh, more, it was more like a pennant. Um, and we kind of broke out of that, which led us all the way back up to 19,400, 19,450 range. And as you guys can see, we're currently pushing up right now. We're at 19,352. So, um, basically what we're watching here we want to we want to see that we don't break back down um one thing to be wary of is that we have another gap up guys so now this makes two gap ups that we have so this is a cme bitcoin futures right here and you guys can see there's this gap right so what is a gap up this is what it is right here i'm trying to zoom in for you guys I guess this is as much as i can zoom in so this is a gap up right here um you guys can see uh, we closed at 18,020 on Friday and then we opened at 19,155. So that's over $1,000 gap up. And we also had the same thing of, well, not the same thing, but similar here the weekend before. So we had closed here at 16,925 and we opened up at 18,275. So almost the same thing here, guys. Um, this one here was about was over also over a thousand yeah so um so that's just something to keep in mind guys um as you're trading make sure you're using your stop losses keep tight stops um because if we do end up filling those gaps um you know you can take losses if you're if you don't have stop losses set up and put in place so you want to make sure to always have those stops uh put in, in place and um be you know practice proper risk management so for this week what we're looking for is a continuation up basically um, unfortunately the move happened before we were able to put this video out but the trade that we we're looking for was above an entry above 19,300 this is the first entry that we're looking for uh, that we signaled in our trade group 
hopefully you guys in our trade group were able to catch that and hopefully it profits we got to see what happens here right um so the next entry that we're looking at here it's gonna be probably above these right here um and that and it's close enough to that 500 range where we would take that 500 entry right so 19,500 is the next breakout entry that we're looking at here um if we're looking at support um then for supports we're kind of we would be watching back down at the 19,000 um it's basically where that support would be so we we want to see a, a test and a bounce back up and we'd be buying the bounce back up and over 19k okay so that's pretty much uh the two trade setups we're watching uh right now this week you know to start the week off um so it's, it's at 19,300, that 19,500, and that 19K, if we come back down to test it, uh, we want it, get it above that. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Ethereum. Ethereum, you see, we kind of have that same pattern still, right? So we have that flat top pattern. Uh, we've been consistently rejected at, at 620. Um, but uh, the good news is we did catch this support and it respected it which is very good news. So you see, we got the bounce right off of there. And I told you guys um, that entry from Friday was 550, which was exactly where the bounce would have happened. And this is that's exactly what, what it did. So it bounced all the way up um, until 595. Um, that was a huge move up. What was it? Uh, 40%, it was a 40% move if you used 5X leverage. Um, so what we're looking at for now um we're pretty much looking at this 590 area let's zoom in a bit into the four hour um but we're looking at that 590 area right um uh, it's a possible entry but there's a lot of consolidation here so you have to uh, be careful with it use tight stops all right so if you're using the, the 590 breakout it would be a breakout above these last four four hour candles um, that's what we're playing this. Um, it will be a breakout. You would, you, we, the, the, the risk that we're going to be using is probably like two and a half, two dollars and 50 cents around there. We just don't, we don't want to, cause look how wide this is. We don't want to be in this. So we just want to keep a tight stop. If it breaks out, awesome. We'll take profits at, 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 you know, every $5 or so. Um, and if it doesn't work out, that's fine. We will be looking for new entries at 580. So 580 is our next entry, but we want to see something kind of like this where it dips under it and then pops back over uh, that 580 break would be our entry. Um, so that's two trades we're looking at this week. And then the third trade is above, probably above this range right here, which is the high of like basically the last week or so uh, or the last few days. Um, but because it's so close to 600, we'll just do a uh, break above 600. And as you guys know, there's been a lot of consolidation at 600. So it is a risky trade. You have to be careful um, taking that. Um, so that's it for Ethereum. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin Cash. Uh, Friday, we told you guys about that 270 level um, and it broke right above it. As you guys can see, it was right around here. Uh, that's also where this uh, the 50 day moving average was. So that actually worked out perfectly. Um, we were able to grab some profits there if you took that trade. Um, currently, um, you see a pin bar set up here on top of that 50 day moving average. So that's a pretty good sign. Um, we would want to see a break of this 280 uh, zone. So if we can break above 280, um, then we're looking to, to hit probably like 283 and, and test this uh, this 20 day moving average, probably around 283, 284 range. Um, then that next that next number will probably be around that 290 and then uh, that could lead up to 300. Um, so that's with Bitcoin Cash. Th those are the trades that we're watching. Um, we're not really looking for any support here. Uh, but the support looks like it could be that 270 range, which was our prior um, where we where we entered the breakout last time. Um, the 50 day moving average is there. So you can use that 270 as a support entry if it happens something like it did today right here where it drops under and pops back over it. Um, Litecoin, as you guys can see, we have this we had this descending wedge going down and it, it's breaking up, it broke out of it right there. So, um, and it's right at, it's currently right at the 20 day moving average. 
Um, so here we're kind of looking for, so the trades we took on Friday with the Litecoin was uh, 80, so above 80 and it went up to like 84. Um, so we're probably looking for a break of the same area. Um, probably a break of 85 is what I'm looking for here. So a break of 85 would, would be the new breakout entry um, for a dip. Then I'm probably looking at something at the $80 uh, mark. Um, I would want to see it just like it did today, dip under it and bounce back above it. Um, that would be the entry I'm looking for there. Um, XRP. Let's take a look. As you guys can see, you guys know that there was an airdrop on XRP. And um, and as we expected, we spoke about this. There was a drop right on in the price um now we so we broke out bearish from this pennant and this bull flag but that 50 cent range is actually holding up pretty nicely that's why we didn't take a short on this because we saw there was a lot of buyers at that 50 cent range um and we actually we expect this to go back up so um if you're looking for a long here on xrp you probably could uh take a breakout above 52 cents um, and to, if you want to be safer, then you could take it at 53 cents. Um, those are the two entries. We don't really want any support entries here because it's just that 50 cent range is where all that battle's going on. So uh, we're, we're looking for that breakout above 50, either 52 or 53 if you want to be a little bit safer and uh, see if we can bounce back up with XRP. Um, Chainlink, as you guys can see, we were also pretty much uh, trending down here. Um, and we did have a bounce back up. We didn't take any trades on this and we're still not looking to take a trade here um, We, we want to see some consolidation here and then possibly a a buy off this 50 day moving average here So that would probably be around that 1250 to 13 dollar range um, But there was already one fake out at the 13 dollar range. So um, We're not currently taking any trades on chain link here um it still needs to break above that 20 day um over to tezos kind of the same thing here not much going on it didn't move up from that two dollar range as we as we spoke about we said that two dollars as support uh bounce back up to that 220 so that 220 was is that next area with a lot of price action um if you're looking for a breakout trade you could buy above 230 that would be the level that i'd be looking for to enter a trade there um, Neo, you see, we also got the nice bounce here. I'm still not entering nothing in Neo. I want to see a break of $18 um, for an entry here on Neo. And that's basically it, guys. I think we covered pretty much uh, all the, the trade setups we, we wanted to cover. I wanted to talk about. Hopefully, you guys made some profits from our trade setups that we gave you guys on Friday. If not, don't worry, guys. There's always a new trade to make. Um, so that's pretty much it guys we're going to be watching the market and updating you guys as we go if you're in our trade room in our trade room then you already know we're going to update you as we make trades um if you're not then and watch our videos that we're going to be posting throughout the week and our instagram page where we give daily updates as well that's pretty much it guys please guys make sure to hit that follow button make sure to hit that subscribe that and uh that like button and make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified as soon as we post new videos with new trades sometimes these trades take off like this so you got to watch a video quick that's pretty much it guys till tomorrow i will see you guys as always peace and love we're out